that's the lineup for heat three. Uh, the Olympic silver medalist uh, Brown King running in lane six, and Helanda, the very good Finn, running outsider in lane seven. The conditions actually are very blustery here, and uh, whilst the flag in the centre of the arena is still, the flags up on the top of the arena are, well, flowing briskly. I, I suppose I could, I could say that. It could be that stride patterns have to be modified in the back straight. There's, there's what I'm trying to convey to you. It's crosswind, then backwind, then headwind. And that does alter the uh, consideration of a stride pattern in the back straight, and that's critical. So, Hals Dorter of Iceland. She's running in lane two. One blue of the Ivory Coast was inside her. Usifo, 448, Nigeria, the African champion, 55-62 this season. American-based, lane four, P.T. Usha of India, fourth in the Olympic final, missed a medal, incidentally, by one hundredth of a second. Haas of Austria, she was second in the European Junior 400 meters championship in 1983, then Judy Brown King, the Olympic silver medalist, the American champion, and Tula Helanda of Finland, seventh in the Olympic final on the outside. Well, Brown King, of course, using the Finnish girl on the outside as the target because uh, Helinda, with 55-42, is capable of qualifying here. It is the first two, and uh, she's going well. So is uh, Usifo of Nigeria. In lane two, Hal's daughter of Iceland, she's gone. The two inside lanes no longer in contention. One or two examples of struggling there uh, to make those hurdles. Right on the outside, Helinda of Finland, chased by uh, the American... And then Usha of India on the inside, and Usha of Nigeria inside her. These four contesting the places. And Usha pressuring now Judy Brown King, and Brown King has got to put on the accelerator here, and so has Helander on the outside. Brown King comfortably through, measured it well. Helander second, then uh, Usha, then Usifo. Those are the four, but only the first uh, two go through, 55.35 uh, the time. And uh, Brown King just put a foot down on the accelerator over the last hurdle and made it through quite comfortably. Good athlete is Brown King, the Pan American champion. Competent piece of running, looks relaxed at the end. So does Helander, incidentally and uh, Usha of India and Usifo, well, they must wait to see whether they're one of the six fastest qualifiers. Technically, for those up in front this time, it was quite good, despite the blustery wind. Good piece of running from Brown King. The battles will come in the next round for her. The result there of the second heat, second of five heats, two more to come. Sheffield the winner, 55-9-3. Flintoff second, 56-3-1. Those uh, qualify. And uh, Alan Mutawakil, the Olympic champion, with over 57 in the first round, may just struggle as one of the fast losers. Well, the Olympic Stadium filling. And meanwhile, it's quite busy out on the outside track. The ancient stadium in that uh, lovely setting which is the warm-up track. Of course, this afternoon, we've got the semi-finals later on of the men's 800 metres. Tom McKean runs uh, in the first. And Peter Elliott there with a cap, uh, warming up for the second semi-final. Behind him, Barbosa, uh, the Cuban, or Brazilian, rather, sorry, uh, one of the favourites. But uh, this is the sort of day when you don't need too much warming up. Warming up is a nervous thing rather than anything else on days like that. And the temperature at the moment is somewhere in the 80s to 90s. So um, I would have thought uh, you don't need to do too much out there. Tom McKean hasn't been seen out there uh, warming up for his semi-final. Uh, Peter Elliott, I think, by the way, uh, just checking on the program, is in the second semi-final. Tom McKean runs in the first. Well, a lot of history there, but... To the athletes, it doesn't mean very much at this moment. They're concentrating 
on World Championship qualifying. They're the marble statues that Mussolini demanded from each of the 60 regions of Italy. 